Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna talk about two specific settings which can actually add so much additional input latency guys So therefore if you're really experiencing high input delay make sure to watch today's video This is gonna be really helpful for you And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel This would help out so so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic Hey guys, the following settings I'm going to show you work as well for AMD and NVIDIA. So don't be worried there guys, it works for both of you. I think on AMD it's just like called a little bit different. So therefore you maybe have to do some Google research to find exactly which setting it is. But yeah guys, once you open up your NVIDIA control panel, as mentioned, same thing works as well for AMD. So just make sure to watch the video. Um, you can pretty much get in here guys and there you can see now your manage 3D settings, yeah? And once we're in here, we actually have first of all the low latency mode, which so many people have on off right now since the last Nvidia update actually turned it off guys. There was like an issue with that. So therefore, please make sure to turn this actually on guys because the low latency mode does indeed help you out there. And yeah, the other setting I want to talk about is actually called vertical sync. And so many people don't know what vertical sync is, but I'm just going to explain it basically. It's going to limit your FPS to really like the maximum refresh rate or the maximum FPS your monitor can put out. And so many people don't know that even if you're like on 60 hertz having more fps is still gonna give you less input delay because you still have more fps therefore like the short times before like a new frame comes in are way more reduced so therefore it's way easier for your pc you know to like be more fluent that's the best way how to call it pretty much and therefore you can actually have like low latency on even like a 60 hertz 75 hertz monitor and the same also applies for 144 guys but the more up you go pretty much the less it matters because 144 hertz is already really really smooth but I would still recommend you if you have like any sort of other sync technology in your monitor, free sync, G sync. Also, make sure that vertical sync is turned off, guys. Don't have this on. There are so many people saying that you should have this on, on, you know, so uh, your PC doesn't produce more FPS than it needs. You know, it's just gonna get like warm and stuff like that, guys. I've never played with with V sync. Like literally, that's that's not good. That's only if you see like screen tearing. And even then, most monitors nowadays have some sort of like sync technology. So therefore, guys, please make sure to turn this actually off. And as mentioned, also the low latency mode. This has to be on, on, guys. And besides that, yeah, that's pretty much everything you can do here. These are like the two settings I want to mention and yeah, we already applied them here correctly for AMD It should be exactly the same code guys or maybe like a little bit different Just do some research for yourself vertical sync v-sync as it's called the same thing also exists in Fortnite So please make sure to turn it off there as well. And yeah with this have we done here We're just gonna click it on to apply and Everything is set correctly. Now we can just simply um, close our NVIDIA control panel and reset our PC. And yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Before, oh, come get inside